Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. As you see, I have a box here. Well, um, as y'all know, I got caught taking a egg here a couple weeks ago. Well, the walkers caught me on their security cam. So, well, if y'all haven't been following them, um, she has been having an amazing hatch rate. 100%. With 100% hatch rate with her incubator. So while I was down at her, her, their farm, I was kind of snooping around in the garage there and I, I seen that she had a, the original uh, hatch mate. Um, so what did I do? When I got home, made arrangements, got me original hatch mate, and now I'm ready to do some business like her. So she did get a hair, head start on me this year. Um, I don't have the quail. Uh, last year I hatched probably seven, 800 quail <laughs> off and a bunch of birds. But yeah, eight, we, like yeah, we 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 hatched a bunch and ate a bunch. So um, she's got a head start. But as y'all see, I got the shop cleaned up here. I got my. I'll, I'll show y'all that in just a second. I got my little. Uh, what do you call the, those little tanks for all my birds? Birds, <clears throat> and um, I used these incubators last year. Um, we had. Yeah, I mean we hatched a bunch of them. Um, we didn't always get a, a you know a 75% hatch rate, but um, she's had really good luck with these. Uh, this company, um, this this company is Backyard Farm, Bob Backyard Farm, and um, I'm sure you've seen this company on numerous other channels. Mm -hmm. um, they love working with um, channels, um, working and collaboration uh, videos, and you know they got numerous other products. So. Um, besides reaching out to them, I decided to get a product and we will go ahead and make a video and see what they think about our video because as y'all know, we hatched a lot of chickens. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Um, Cassie's, let's like say Cassie's got a head start on me this year, but hey, I, I might be able to catch up. You know, I got some of these older incubators from last year. Um, we're already opened fingers. You did? Um, we're actually fixing to have some hatch off here next week. So, um, but as she said in her video, um, we did get some um, duck eggs the right way. And, and I hope y'all realize that we're really joking. Uh, I know some people take it real serious, but we're joking. So, I've watched her with her videos. It's upside down, I think. So I'm gonna open it up it's and like I say it's made by Hatchmate it's a good product I've watched her hatch all her birds last year and um, I'll leave a link down in the description box feel free to uh, share the video with Hatchmate and let them know that we're using their product now we're going to set this to the side oh my goodness there's a bunch of pieces Oh, All right, we got a fuse here. We got something. All right, so we got it open. So now it's time to read some directions. I guess we probably should have opened this Great. and read the directions before we started making the video. But you gonna get some raw footage. Yeah. All right, it says stat, uh, stat. All right, it says step one. You got your, the top piece here. And this is going to be uh, the piece with all the goods. You got your plug in. We'll plug it in and um, it's going to have the uh, temperature. Like, why do I feel like Jack uses this? Uh, I think Jack does. Yeah. Grill Jack Outdoors, yes. Okay, and the second piece is going to be A. This is A. Touch them and the C piece or B piece is going to be these racks. Okay. And the C piece is going to be the bottom rack, as you can see. Then we got the make sure all the pieces are here. There's the um, actual mm -hmm. egg turner, D. Mm -hmm. And E is the dividers. And uh, Layton, hand me the water. Mm -hmm. If you want to read the instructions here. And okay. it says fill what? Two thirds. Three to three and a half ounces of water. Right here. 
It says, lay the bottom shell on a sturdy surface and fill with approximately three to three and a half ounces of water. Do not keep more than three and a half ounces of water in a unit at any time. Mom. All right, that's... Yeah, oh. that's about enough. That's enough, all right. Because that's like three halves. Okay. Okay, so it said do it before you put that in, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Lay the hatching grid in the bottom shell with the feet facing the ground. The water will be under the hatching grid. Just like that, but... <laughs> Yeah. There. And as you see, the water's in the bottom. That ain't very much water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lay the incubation grid, part C, which is this part. This part right here, part number C. C. Letter C. Letter C. The number C is in Charles. Um, the slider bars on the incubation grid should be facing up since the incubation grid is lying on the edge of the yeah, shell. Yeah there will be about a one inch grap, gap between the hatching grid and incubation grid. Oh, so it goes down like this? No, the other way. Yeah. I was like that. So okay. what's the point of that? Because then because that, that was cracked. This goes. Oh. It slides in between that. I know, but. Okay. And plus that, that can crack the eggs. If gotcha, it's... gotcha. Okay. Place the egg turning frame, part D, which is that right there on top of the incubation grid between the two slider bars. When the unit is running, the frame will automatically slide back and forth between the slider bars very slowly via the automatic turning mechanism which rotates the eggs. It moves so slowly that it is barely visible to the human eye. Number five, insert the separation bars into the turning Open frame. Sixteenth of an inch, so half a centimeter clearance between each egg. We we'll probably the need the eggs. Bar. Huh? Yeah. yeah. We're going to go get the eggs. And we're not going to Locust Grove. We're going to go in here. Yeah. <laughs> All I got to say is I got a bunch of eggs here. So if you're there. missing any eggs, anybody, you better go check your nesting boxes because I may have some of your eggs right here. Um, no, so I could say we have uh, our chickens here. So I'm gonna make. Let me see which ones we got here. Okay, these are the duck eggs. Ducks. Um, not for sure how many this will hold. Like nine, right? Yeah, nine. Yeah. Something like three, that. Three, three, three. Okay. No, go ahead and. Twelve. Let's go ahead and Four. set this over here. We're fixing to put the eggs and stuff in here, but um. Here's the deal. I'm going to go over if you're new to hatching eggs and if you just purchased one of these um, hatch mates um, Like I say, this is a really good product. I've watched Cassie last year. She hatched numerous eggs uh, Grow Jack Outdoors. There's several other channels, but uh, I know it's being goofy there for a minute, but I want to I do want to be serious here. So um, These eggs we got from Cassie, which is about 200 miles away um, so when we per uh, when we got the eggs um, so when we got the eggs, um, obviously they're dirty. Um, there's a myth that you don't clean them or whatever. That is a myth. Um, I've cleaned my eggs before. They hatched out just fine. When you're transporting these eggs, it's very important to keep the tip down. Okay. Um, I didn't always know that, but some eggs, it's harder to tell. Is some eggs. Down? No, some, some eggs, uh, is harder to tell than others. So always keep the, the pointed okay. egg down. So, um, like I said, it's 200 miles away with these eggs. Um, we've been home for about two or three days now. Um, now, once you get home, you do not want to set them. You want to leave them eggs setting for a day without moving to let the air pocket and everything settle. At the top of the egg here, at the top of the egg, if we was to shine a light in here, there would be an air pocket at the very top. Okay, and this hats, um, it gives the um, air pocket for the duck to actually start growing. So as we put these in here, we're going to set nine of them in here. We're going to try to pick the nine best. Um, as you've seen, Leighton did have a lot. 
and we're going to take that light and we're going to look at them and inspect them and make sure they're good and they're not cracked because we're only putting nine in. Now, as you see, we have other incubators we've used in the past and behind us. What eggs we don't set tonight or don't set in here, we're going to set them over here because I've got a bunch of actual chicken eggs that I need to set as well. Um, this is the only uh, ready hatch that we actually have right now. So we're going to set these to the, or hatch mate, I'm sorry, to the side here. <laughs> and uh, I've got a rag. I'm going to go ahead and clean these off a little bit. As you see, it's really dirty. Um, I'm just going to get the, the mud and stuff off of them. And like I say, is uh, most of y'all uh, know Cassie. If you don't, um, I don't know where you've been because she interacts with all channels and uh, y'all know these are her little ducks that she keeps underneath the, the trampoline. So I'm just going to kind of dry it off a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and set it inside here. We need these. Yeah, that was the next step, putting this. Okay, go ahead and put it in there. Insertion. Yeah. That's off just a little bit. Raise it up. Yeah, they can be up against them. Same deal with this in here. The oven was there and like, mine was like too old. Mm. Hey, can't she say that she gets mine? This depends. And this too. I think I'll assume when they pick up. So it looks like we're going to get six in uh, this one just because the eggs are so big, which that's perfectly fine. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take another one of these little dividers and we're going to go ahead and slide it in there. What I'm going to do is it's going to, it's going to rotate back and forth with the, the motor just like that. So go ahead and with the next step. Fill the top shell over the bottom shell so that the turning mechanism, which is pin part F1, goes in the shifting slot of the egg turning frame. If the pin of the turning mechanism is not in the slot, the eggs will not turn. And that's what they're talking about right here. Make sure your hands are dry and then plug in. Those are 21 days. So. Well, we, we will have to check these eggs back here just shortly. All right. So as you see, it's all plugged in now. Um, Number eight. What is it saying? Number eight. Set the temperature to 37.9. See temperature settings. Section Seven what? what is 37.9. Um, the 37.9 is the Celsius temperature. Um, other incubators, you know, you run with a thermometer as 99.9, 99.9, .9, or 99.8. I'm sorry. Um, so we didn't, did you put the fuse in? I did not. I didn't say to. Oh, that's a backup fuse. Never mind. Um, <laughs> it also sends you a backup fuse if it was to blow. So you want to put that up somewhere and uh, that way you know where it's at uh, when you need it. So we're going to put it in a drawer over here. And we're going to set it over here to the side. And hopefully here soon we will have some baby ducks. And this wasn't stolen. These <laughs> was given. Now, I do recommend that you also put this book up until you get comfortable in um, actually setting uh, the eggs each time. But I'm pretty sure after you do it a couple times, you're going to have it down pat. Yeah. But it's always good to keep this just in case you actually lose it. Um, Backyard Farms, you can find them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Um, all you got to do is actually take a picture of that barcode and it'll take you to their website. Um, we will leave a link down below, so go check it out.
tell them where you saw this video because um, we would definitely love to work with the company and um, from here we're going to move over to actually candling these eggs and show you the process that we do before they're actually set it shows as you can see there it shows there's something in there but I'm really curious about this because they should be bigger since bigger we'll keep it in there because I mean just in case like this that's... one here this one's bad um, but here's the deal these are these are just um, the first eggs coming from the hens this year mm -hmm. this in here yeah, it's good. As, it's good. as you see it's that old. there's there's something in here not for sure I may be off on my days um, but we're going to I'm kind of worried about it because as you see up here there's something dark but we're going to go ahead and leave it here it ain't going to hurt to leave them in the incubator yeah this in here looks like there is definitely something in there they're all about the same like. and this one here is kind of like it thought about forming as you see it's dark up there at the top it thought about it but something happened so it's not going to hatch oh, oh. we got some but there's Bad the veins. veins really good that hopefully you can see them veins really good right there they're actually moving right now i mean you just found a lot of them so i can get it some eggs yeah. oh this is weird they kind of make tiny eggs Something's a little packing. Oh, veins. That's real, real dark. Yeah. Yeah. There's something in there. This in here is a good one. I'm going to go ahead and put them in lockdown. Raise it up. And really just depends on where you live on the humidity um, right now we're fighting with some different type of weather so I'm going to put a little bit of water in here um, I know a lot of people said last year you know left a lot of bad comments but here's the deal we didn't have a problem hatching eggs um, we know some of these are possibly bad but we're going to go ahead and set these in here because it's not going to hurt it's anywhere then yeah All right, so now um, basically, we're just going to leave them on lockdown. We're not going to move them or anything. And um, then we're going to be good to go. Um, but while we're out here and I've got that turner already going, I'm going to go ahead and hook this incubator up and we're going to put the rest of the eggs in there so they can go ahead and um, go ahead and start their hatch. Someone took over my scoop that Mordecus got me. He used it as a egg carrier. If any eggs crack, it's not my fault. Fill this up with water real quick. And on these is, I fill them up one time and then just depends on what the humidity does. Most of the time I don't have to put any more in it. I use it. I mean, these are easy to use if you want to, you know, I think it, it'll hold 48 eggs, but, um, you know, right now I'm, I'm more focused on that, uh, just because, um, I've see the hatch rate is a lot better. So, um, we're going to try that out and hopefully, hopefully it works out. But, um, uh, anyways, guys, I don't know what else is going to be in this video, but I hope you watch it all the way through. We really thank each and every one of y'all for coming over and subscribing to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. And um, if you're new to the channel, go over, check out Cassie's channel. She's got numerous videos on those hatchmates. So thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to her channel and check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of her latest videos. Thank you and God bless.